Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people past to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. All together we say, I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, eternal majesty, whose ineffable word the Immaculate Virgin received through the message of an angel, and so became the dwelling place of divinity, filled with the light of the Holy Spirit. Grant, we pray, that by her example, we may in humility hold fast to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. 
Let it be deep as the nether world, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, it is not enough for you to weary men. Must you also weary, my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. Please stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. O key of David, opening the gates of God's eternal kingdom, come and free the prisoners of darkness. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In the six months, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have been found faithful with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the six months for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord, May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. 
my dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. It is said that in every successful man, behind it is a strong woman. Sabi nila, kapag may isang successful daw na lalaki, businessman, o kaya isang successful na lalaki, anak niya, no? nasa likod na noon ay isang strong na babae. Siguro makakarelate dito ang ibang mga um, may asawa no? o kaya mga anak. No? Behind that is your mother or your wife. No? Perhaps it is also true with regards to our Christian faith. Today, we are presented in the gospel, the account of the annunciation of the incarnation of Jesus in our gospel. We've heard this gospel very often no? this Christmas. And here, we can find how Mary responded to God's invitation that she be the mother of the Son of God. We all know that she is already betrothed to Joseph, no? pero para bagang bigla na lang nangialam ang Diyos sa buhay niya. No? At sabi, Maria, kinululugdang ka ng Diyos. No? Gagawin kang nanay ng kanyang anak. No? Nang himasok ang Diyos sa kanyang buhay na hindi niya alam. Although there were hints of anxiety or uncertainty on her part na sabi dito, she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. In the event of the salvation of man, dito nagsimula ang kaligtasan ng Diyos. Saan? Sa pag Oo ni Maria. Saan? Sa pagsabi niya na, let it be done to me according to your word. Perhaps in our reflection today, we are also invited to have that kind of faith that Mary had in the event of the Annunciation. Ano ito? Manampalataya, magtiwala sa Diyos. Kahit sa mga events na hindi natin nauunawaan, hindi natin lubos na naiintindihan. Makikita natin ang ehemplo ni Maria na yung tinatawag na leap of faith. Bravery on her part to do something that she did not understand. She could have said no. no? And imagine Christmas without Mary. No? Paano pag humindi si Maria? Wala tayong Pasko ngayon. Her will was still intact. However, she said, Your will be done. Let it be done unto me according to your will. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, no, perhaps we are invited today to reflect on the participation of Mary sa pagliligtas ng Diyos sa tao. We are invited what kind of role she made. That's why in the hierarchy of the holies, she comes next to Jesus. Jesus, and then sunod, Mary, and then John the Baptist, and then Joseph. Nandun siya. Dahil siya ang unang tumanggap ng salita ng Diyos. At sa sinapupunan niya, nagkatawang tao ang salita ng Diyos. This is also a high time for us to reflect. Dahil minsan, masyado tayong naakusahang mga katoliko, bakit ganyan na ganyan na lamang ang pag-regard nyo kay Mary? Ang dami-dami yung image niya. Parang ginagawa nyo na siyang Diyos. She is not God. But through her, God became man. She is not the Redeemer. But through her, a Redeemer came forth through her womb. That's why we call her 
co-redeemer, co-redemptrix. At sa misteryo na gugunitain natin December 25, is the very prayer that we have been praying since time immemorial, ever, every time it is 6 o'clock and 12 noon. Ano ba yung pinipray natin ng 6 o'clock at 12 noon? Angelus, di ba? Eto yun sa Ibanghelyo natin ngayon. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done unto me according to your word. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. Ito yung misteryo ng December 25. Ang Diyos na nasa langit, ang Diyos na maluwalhati, inubad ang kanyang kaluwalhatian at naging putik, naging tao para makisalamuha sa atin. That's why in our first reading it says, The virgin shall conceive and bear a son and his name will be Emmanuel. It means God is with us. Nakipanahan ng Diyos sa atin. Nakisalamuha siya sa atin. Why? He love us. Why? He wants to be with us. That's how He loves us. At hindi nangyari ang lahat ng iyon kung walang matamis na oo ni Maria. Through her example of humility, through her example of openness, through her example of acceptance to the will of God, we ourselves are also invited to do the same, to follow the will of God. Ang tanong, Father, how do I know the will of God? Paano ko ba malalaman? Listen to His voice. The voice that what we call conscience. Develop it. Nurture it. Ask God to help you how to discern properly so that we ourselves could also participate in the divine, loving plan of God of saving us every day. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray that we may be able to follow the example of Mary, who is humble, full of faith, and always ready to do, to do Lord, the Lord's will. In every petition we say, through the intercession of Mary, hear us. Through the intercession of Mary, hear us. That we, as God's people, Advance in our faith journey with the guidance and teachings of our pastors. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the intercession of Mary, hear us. That our government officials exhaust their means to promote peace and seek the well-being of their constituents. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the, the intercession, intercession of, of Mary, Mary hear, hear us. us. That consecrated men and women be true witnesses of God's kingdom by their faithfulness to their vows. Let us pray to the Lord through, through the, the intercession, intercession of Mary, Mary hear us. us. That young people be firm in their faith, generous in their love, and steadfast in their hope. Let us pray to the Lord through, through the, the intercession, intercession of Mary, Mary hear us. us. That the dead who responded to God's invitation Share in the joy of the Master's table. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the, the intercession of Mary, Mary hear, hear us. In a special manner, we continue to pray for our brothers and sisters in Visayas in Mindanao who were victims of the typhoon Odette. May the Lord grant them faith and strength, courage to continue. And we also pray for all of us that we may have the heart to help them.
Let us pray to the Lord. Through the intercession of Mary, hear us. Father, your eternal word was made man when the Virgin placed her life at the service of your plan. May we follow her example in preparing for the coming of Jesus, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, we pray upon the one sacrifice of your Son, that by participating in this mystery, we may possess at last the gifts we have awaited and for which our faith bids us hope through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and answered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up, for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. 
When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours, are yours now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am, I am not, not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my, my roof. roof. But only, but only say, say the, word, the word, and my, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot, at this moment, receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Grant divine protection, O Lord, to those you renew with this heavenly gift, that to those who delight in your mysteries, you may give the joy of true peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Holy Mother 